What's up, y'all? Uncle Jesse back at it again. 2017-18 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball 10 box. That's a half case. Break number three. Thank God. Because uh, those full cases are... Yeah. Uh, yeah, Gary. Those are all eBay breaks. However, if you go to our website, and if you've never made a purchase on the website, you can register for an account and save $15 on your first purchase. That's a good deal. Uh, but... Let's uh, let's get this eBay loving underway. First things first, it would help if I had my uh, my camera kind of set up, right? What up, Cam Freeman? All right, so I hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, I did absolutely nothing with my weekend. I stayed home all weekend, which was uh, a huge success. I saw all of. Uh, Stranger Things, I saw like 15 movies, played video games, it's like I was 15 years old all over again. Alright, so I'm only going to do half of this. You're far from you? Well, Gary's, since you're far from you, I got something for you, my friend. We are offering a $200 uh, promotion right now. I'm not even going to think about it. I'm going to do this half later. Was Kai Green in... Yeah, he was in Stranger Things. I, I noticed that one buff-ass dude that was running with 11 in them. And yes, he was in there. That's not my fault. Y'all need to catch up. But yes, that I, I did see that guy in there. He was, uh, I mean, he didn't ha really have like a huge role, but he was definitely in there. I was like, who is that guy? That guy looks familiar as hell. He's one of those uh, Instagram fitness models or whatever the hell. So now you don't even have to have acting skills. You just got to be super cock diesel swole and you could be in Hollywood. I think I'm going to have to start hitting the gym. Monday and Tuesday are your weekend. I feel you, dog. I used to have Monday as my weekend, which I honestly I enjoy, cause I have the house to myself. Nobody's home, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, all right, let's uh, let's do this. Thing. Well, now with that attitude, Jerry's. Now with that attitude, I mean, listen. Worst case scenario, we do what we do, and uh, we throw the rest of the teams up on eBay, and it, it will break. It will break. But anyways, how was y'all's weekend, folks? Hope y'all had a good one. I lied. I did go out. I went out on Saturday. I was supposed to go. I was trying to go to the Heat game. Um, but that fell through. Devin, you're up in this? Nice. Well, considering how this won't take me two and a half hours because it's only ten boxes. Um, there's still a stupid amount of base cards in there, so... I won't go as fast as I used to. Like, I got it down to, to about two hours on Friday. Uh, got out of here like at six in the morning or something. Which is now the norm. Y'all know how I do. Uncle Jesse hashtag Rip City Cards After Dark. So listen, before I even start showing this stuff up, y'all need to send your prayers up to the cardboard gods. And let's see if I can pull you some fire. I've pretty, I've pulled pretty much everybody already. I've pulled Markel Fultz, Lonzo Ball, Jason Tatum. Um, only two big names that I have yet to pull are Josh Jackson for the Suns and Dennis Smith for the Mavericks. I've pulled every other Maverick, though. i pulled Dirk Nowitzki, Jason Kidd, Barea. Uh, but it's time to see the Dennis Smith Jr. Like I'm a huge fan of his when he was in college. Then he got hurt, and uh, that's why his uh, his stock draft fell a little bit. But he's doing good things out there in Dallas. So we shall see. What's going on, Simpson? How you doing? Uh, this is the first box of eBay half case number three. You are correct, Simpson. Quick, give me the winning lottery numbers. Ooh. 
Ugh. All right. Now, before I start this, guys, as I was saying, uh, the numbers from Lost. Dude, I used to watch Lost. I think I finished watching it. And without spoiling it for anybody, it fucking sucks. Like, up until the ending, great show. Then the ending comes around, and it's like a big fuck you. Which is no bueno. Ha no, Walking Dead, amazing. I, I actually got, I, I can see it now. Because of my friends. She, you know, one of my friends hooked me up with the, uh... With, like, her little Xfinity Go account or whatever. So now I'm able to watch live TV from a phone. Hashtag, I love the future. All right, let's see what's in this. It's straight up base. All right, so it doesn't help that the, uh... That thing is not focusing like I'd like it to. So, as usual, let's adjust that bad boy. That'll do. That'll do. I agree. Lost was cool. But yeah, the ending was definitely terrible. It was the, the the ending was just a big slap to the face. Like, oh, you invested all this time in the series. Well, guess what? <laughs> JK. So that was that. No, dude, trust me. I, I saw the entire series. Uh, like, I, I just don't want to spoil it for anybody out there watching. Derek Rose won a 10 for the Cavs. That was nice. That is nice. I like those, the gold on there. Looks so classy. What's up, uh, the lit penguin? What it do? Frank Mason the third for the Kings with the autograph. That's a good one. Any Jayhawk is usually a good one. Jayhawk is a basketball factory out there in Kansas. Yeah, Lost was no bueno, but uh, up until the um, like up until the end, it was. A, it, I thought it was a good show anyway. Uh, it's you know I, I know I know I said I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody, but here's a little spoiler. One like once they started coming out with the polar bears and shit, that's when I was like, okay, what the fuck? Why are there polar bears? In this hot ass island, that'll make no sense. So as you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of base. And Chris Middleton for the Bucks with the auto. I appreciate that lit, lit penguin. You know, even if it's even if it's a lie, flattery will get you everywhere in life. Yeah, I think that's when like they they started coming out with like. The, the magnetism of the island, and they came out with this, man, I was just like, you know what, I'm done, I'm done. I still finished watching it because I, I had invested too much at that point to not finish it, you know what I mean? But yeah, if you haven't seen Stranger Things, I highly suggest you do it. Uh, both season one and two are on Netflix, and it really is a good show. It really is. Like, the second season is lit. Oh, I thought that was going to be an autograph. Anytime they put cards, like, backwards or upside down like that, I just assume that they're autos. What up, Peru? How you doing, my man? So, did, you know, besides my boring-ass weekend, well, I lied. I was telling you guys on Saturday, I went out. With a friend of mine, and we got a little drunk, drunk. But that was, that's about it. To ninety nine, Wilson Chandler of the Nuggets. There, my favorite NBA team should not even be asked. It's the Miami Heat, shout it. And I, I, I do believe we play today. I think we play in like an hour. We're probably playing right now. You just finished season two. How'd you like it, uh, Arthur? So, Yorkster, you're watching Lost again? Why would you put yourself through that? There has to be some, some form of, like, cruel and unusual punishment. Uh, Simpson, well, considering I just started my first box of the, of the day, my man. Uh, no, no one-on-ones yet. Uh, but it, it will happen. Because you know me. I pull one-on-ones every day. Season 2 is super lit. Season 2 is super lit. 
Like, I don't want to sp throw spoilers out there for, you know, the people in the office and whatnot. You know, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with their lives, but they need to be watching that shit. Um, and, and, and for you guys, too. You know, for you guys, too. Did you catch this? Did you get Uncle Jesse an autograph or what? I think I do remember slightly recalling asking you for a Dennis Smith Jr. autograph. Because you went to the Pelicans Mavericks game, I think. Season 3 for Stranger Things probably won't come out in a while. Because the way they ended Season 2, it kind of, you know what I mean? It didn't really end, like, they, it kind of did end in a cliffhanger, but, like, not really. They kind of wrapped things up for Season 2. Like, there's still some unanswered questions out there. For the sake of people in this office, and for you guys, I'm not, I'm not, I won't talk any, anymore. Oh, they play Minnesota. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. It'd be nice if Hassan Whiteside would play, though. You don't like The Office, The Lit Penguin? Look, let me tell you something right now. If you don't like The Office, get the fuck out my room. Because The Office is fucking hilarious. And and I didn't I didn't realize that it was so funny until I actually saw it. Because I'm like, oh, whatever. There's some white people shit. Like, shit ain't going to be funny. It's The Fucking Office. Like, what, what's going to happen in an office? But the shit they get into is pretty fucking funny. Especially my man. I think his name is Jim. Jim's pretty funny. The way he be fucking with uh with that one dude. I forget his name. Um, something with a D, I think. I mean, I don't listen. I don't blame you. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I will say it did grow 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 off on me. I did see it to the end, Arthur. You know, what I mean, give me a quick recall on there. On the on the, cause I I how did it end? Now I'm, trying, now I'm trying to, like, remember. Dwight. That's his name, Dwight. Yes, Dwight. The Office is pretty hilarious. If you don't like The Office, may I suggest Parks and Recreation? That's another hilarious ass show. Oh, yes. I do remember the dance. You know, whatever. But I don't recall what happens after. I think I, I think if you mention it, then I'm going to be like, Oh, yeah! Blah, blah, blah. I don't appreciate that they tried to replace L. That was not cool. I don't appreciate that. Well, Moondogs, I will say this, man. You're like, what, three episodes away? There's not that many episodes in season two. I got through it in like one sitting. You know, I took a little break, you know, a little smoke break, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then after that, it was on, it was on like Donkey Kong. And I just smashed, I think it's like nine hours. I just smashed through it on Saturday. To 99, Joaquin Noah, the Knicks there. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is another hilarious show. It's it's one of those shows that I didn't think was gonna be funny until I like until I saw it, and it's fucking hilarious. Trailer Park Boys, hilarious. Uh, like I said, Parks and Recreation, y'all need to watch that for show. Sure. Well, listen, people are sleeping on the Timberwolves, man. The Thunder lost what twice in the matter of a week to the Timberwolves. That's pretty ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, check that out. Reggie Miller for the Pacers autograph. That's pretty sweet right there. The League is hilarious. Binge-watching series are cool, especially when you're a loser and you have no life like me. You can do things like that. Um, I saw a few movies, too, on Netflix. I saw Death Note, finally, which was... If I'm comparing it to the manga slash anime, it fucking sucks. It... 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 It no, just if you're comparing it to the manga anime Death Note, it's fucking terrible. But if you had like no prior knowledge of the anime manga series, it's a decent movie. It's really it's really not bad. That's how I approached it. 
Trailer Park Boys is the shit. Like, Trailer Park Boys, the, you, you got the Reggie, there you go, man. You got that, that's the only time it's good to get that Reggie, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, as I was saying, the league is great. Highly suggest watching that. Arthur, I will do that, actually, because now I'm trying to remember what happened. I just remember the dance, you know, and then the little cutesy thing happened, and then after that, I was like, ugh. That's how you're going to end this bullshit? All right, not cool. It was, it was good, though. I like season two. I like how they developed some characters, and, you know, it was good, it was good. Juwan Evans of the Clippers with the auto. If you've never seen Trailer Park Boys, I highly suggest y'all. I mean, if you're if you're into, like, stupid comedy, like, we were talking about this on Friday before I left for the weekend. Uh, we were talking about Napoleon Dynamite, and Napoleon Dynamite for me anyway is one of the funniest movies ever like i could watch napoleon dynamite all day every day and not get tired of it because it's fucking hilarious and trailer park boys is like along the same kind of realm of comedy where it's like it's just random and they get into stupid things and it's i don't know i just i thought it's funny i'm into like that slapstick stupid comedy you know what i mean I reach I rewatched 40 year old version and oh my god that movie is still funny to this day. I was telling you guys how I was like I've been rewatching old ass movies. Not that 40 year old version is an old ass movie, but it, it is, you know, old somewhat. Really Arthur? Huh. I got to 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 rewatch that. Because I don't recall that. Uh, I will say this though. They're not going to come out with season 3 anytime soon. What else did I watch this weekend? Uh, hmm. I tried watching some scary movies. But they're not scary. So like I gave up on that. At least I want what they had on Netflix. Like nothing, nothing scary. I think the scariest one they have on there is Cabin Fever. And it's really not scary, it's just more so grotesque, like, you know what I mean, like, visually. Oh, well, Arthur, you know they're gonna take, a, you know they're gonna take their sweet time with the, uh, with the, with the season three. Especially now that it's become, like, such a huge hit, like, it's, it's kind of like a phenomenon on its own, honestly. I like it that, you know, it, it throws it back to, like, the the 80s and whatnot. It has that, like, that old school feel to it. So, I think that's cool. You know who I felt bad for, though? Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop talking. Because at this point, I'm going to start revealing spoilers. So, I'm going to shut up. You know what else I watched? I watched anime, baby! Dragon Ball Super! Fuck yeah! That's that's what my Saturdays consist of. Anime, and like, college football, and whatever else is going on. However, sidebar, anybody see Game 5 of the World Series? That was a ridiculous game. Don't they play again tonight? There's so much stuff going on, man. I think game six is tonight. Right, they've had plenty of time to watch it. Like, that thing came out Friday. And when, when it came out Friday, I had already seen, like, two episodes of it. So if you haven't seen it yet, that's, you know, shame on you. It's not my fault you can't find, you know, nine hours out the day to walk, just straight up watch it. It's not. That's not my fault. They play tomorrow. Ah. Yeah, dude. That game five was ridiculous. I kind of feel bad for Clayton Kershaw. But not really. He you know what? Somebody said it in on Sports Center, like he he's in that uh Peyton Manning realm. 
Dude, it came out Friday. I was done Saturday. I was done by Saturday. I I could not I couldn't wait, man. I couldn't wait. And like and the little chick that I'm talking to, she's like, "Wait for me. Wait for me to watch it." And I was like, "The fuck you think of life?" Cuz she's she's oh, she's in Orlando right now. She's taking a little vacation or whatever. And she's not going to be back till next Friday. The hell I look like waiting two whole weeks to watch Stranger Things. You know how long I've been waiting to watch this thing? You didn't want to wait for you? Hell to the no. Uh, I got you, Arthur. See, you're an adult, so you have to deal with those kinds of situations. Uh, I'm still a child. So, yeah. I just straight binge watch that thing ASAP. But as far as Clayton Kershaw, uh, I was watching, because uh, I, I always like to watch Sports Center like at the end of the day or whatever, you know what I mean? So I can get like a quick recap of what happened in the sports world. And I didn't watch much of the game. Like I saw, I know it went 10 innings and things like that. It was a pretty crazy game. I stopped watching it at like the, the fourth, fifth inning or whatever. And Clayton Kershaw was getting rocked. And someone on SportsCenter was like, you know, he's entered the Peyton Manning realm where, you know, statistically he's great. But when it comes to, like, the clutch, he just, you know, he just can't perform. And my, my heart goes out to him. My heart goes out to him. What up, Rage8311? I have no idea what that means because Nani is a soccer player. And this is not a soccer break. So I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Dirk Nowitzki, though, he knows what you're talking about for the Mavericks. That is a sweet card right there. So two Hall of Famers. Well, Dirk Nowitzki will be a Hall of Famer. You know, he's still playing. Uh, I'm not sure if Reggie's in the Hall of Fame yet, but he will be if he's not already. Oh, yeah, basically, Rage, basically. It's, I mean, it's fine, you know. I do have my left and right hand, and, you know, that'll do what I need it to do. E.K. Anik Bogu doing what it needs to do for the Pacers. I feel for the guy, man. I feel for the guy. Because in the regular season, he's amazing. Uh, I wouldn't know just what they were talking about on SportsCenter. I don't, I don't really watch baseball. Y'all know that. Uh, it's beginning to change, though. Um, and, yeah, he just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Can't Can't perform when he needs to. Exactly, Rage. Exactly. What? What more do I need? You know, they don't. They don't ever complain. They never get tired, and you know they always finish the job. Oh my God, I'm tired. I need to take a break. Nope. You're never gonna hear that from uh, Pamela Anderson and Rosie Palmeras. Nope. Never. They They are down to finish it. You know what I'm saying? They're They're They're, they're my closers. You'd put him more in the Romo realm than the Manning realm. Well, that's true, because at least Peyton Manning won a, you know, he won a, a championship. I was going to say a World Series. He did win a championship, so I'll give you that. That's true. Maybe more like the Phillip Rivers, maybe, then? Uh, yes, Simpson. Rookie base does ship. Veteran base does not, though. Uh, did I see the U? <laughs> does a bear shit in the woods? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it does. But yeah, I saw the U. What the hell? We, You know what? Honestly, Loki, we should have lost that game. But we did it. That is true, Jeff. The second one, he was, you know, a shell of himself. And that defense was pretty crazy. Florida did fire their coach. I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, it's the Gators. The Gators are a joke. You know, they had their one good year with Tim Tebow, and then what happened after that? Exactly. The coolest thing about the Florida Gators is they invaded Gatorade. Or at least that's what the commercials make it seem like. That's about it. How you doing? Take a leap. How is everything with you? But yes, going back to the U, we should have lost that game. Defense stepped up. 
like they have been doing all season long. But we'll see, man. I'm, I'm really not liking what I've been seeing the last two, three weeks, how we're just getting by. And that's why we're really not moving up in the ranking. Like, we need to be, instead of playing down on the competition, we need to be whooping them boys by, like, 30, 40, 50 points. Uh, GTGD, the Bowman Tech has not arrived yet. We've been having issues with the distributor. It hasn't arrived yet, man. So we ha we haven't broken it yet. I'm hoping it gets here tomorrow. I'm hoping it gets here tomorrow. Pistons beat the Warriors. I've, I've been seeing that, man. I've been seeing that. The Warriors. Uh, how about the Clippers? I think the Clippers are still undefeated without Chris Paul. Chris Paul's hurt right now, so he's probably watching that like, damn, where was this when I was out there? Sounds G uh, sounds good, GTGD. You know, I know I've had a few folks already ask me for refunds on it or to cancel the bid or whatever. Uh, I, I understand. It is what it is. Um, but once we get it, it's just going to go back up on eBay. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on with the distributor. I'll be honest. You know, this is uh, this rarely happens. Uh, it's a shame that it had to happen now. Because this is good stuff in that high tech. Yeah, Jeff, I'm not doing uh, I'm not doing high tech at, at eight tonight. Uh, I'm actually. Is it still posted? It shouldn't even be posted for for bid. All right. So what do I see? I see Bowman's best NBA hoops, Phoenix football, but that's for tomorrow. Yeah. So what's left today is the hoops, the Bowman's best, and Prism football, and that's it. And then we're going to focus on the store, baby. Uh, Jeff, did you? Well, I didn't I didn't send that out. Uh, that must have been CBJ, but I don't have the case on me. So, honestly, I, I don't know what that email is, Jeff. I mean, you honestly, check that email because I don't think that's accurate. I'm not, I'm not calling you a lie or anything. I'm just letting you know, dude, I don't have the case on me. So, I don't know what that's about. Make sure, you know, check that email. Make sure, you know, you read it correctly. Because I'm telling you right now, Bowman High Tech is not going tonight. Because I don't have it. Starting Brown of the Bucks with an auto. Bucks having a good break so far. That's their second auto, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I would love to break Bowman High Tech. Don't get me wrong, dude. It's, it's a sick product. It's very nice. You know, it doesn't take me three hours to do, like, uh, the NBA hoops. Uh, but please check that email out. He, he might have just been emailing you guys, letting you guys know what's up, that we don't have it. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, the Heat are playing now. I'm not sure if I want to watch that or if I want to watch Monday Night Football. Damon Stoudemire of the Blazers with an auto. Of course, Jeff, of course. As soon as I get the... Pro I mean, I do have a list of the people that were in the break. Uh, now, my question is... Ah, Jeff, so that's that was the one from Friday, correct? That was the one that's supposed to that was supposed to break on Friday, but because it didn't arrive, it should have gone today. Am I am I in the ballpark here, Jeff? I'm just trying to understand what's what's happening. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure that's the case, though. Okay, yes. All right. So it didn't arrive today. Um. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, if you come into the room, I'm pretty much just letting you know, you know, because for the most part, people that are in the auctions, they they do a good job of either messaging me on eBay or just coming through the room and like, hey, when does this break? And You know what I mean? So I, I've just been waiting for them to come in and letting them know that way. Um, but yes, as soon as I get the the case of it, I will email everyone uh, from the break on Friday uh, and let them, letting them know when it's going to break. So if I get it tomorrow, that'll be the first thing I do. I'm hoping it arrives tomorrow. I really am, because uh, we're missing we're missing quite a quite a few things. 
Uh, unfortunately, errors happen. You know, we are human. Things happen. It is what it is. But I appreciate you being so cool about it, Jeff. I really do, man. I appreciate that, bro. You know, and I, and I understand, you know, for those that do want a refund, I get it. You know what I mean? You want what you paid for, and you don't want to wait. I understand. But yes, Jeff, I do have a list of everyone that's in the break. Uh, so while we'll send emails out when the case arrives... Letting you guys know when it goes. You know what I mean? I appreciate that, Jeff. We need, you know, we need more people like you in this world. More understanding people. Alright, so I'm halfway through this thing. I'm just I'm I'm really glad this is not a full caser anymore. Because that full caser is honestly like not fun I, I don't know how else i could put it like i'm trying to find the words for it but it just like i have flashbacks like the other day well it's actually saturday morning you know i'm trying to sleep in catch up on some sleep and all i could think about like all, all i could hear was this that's what my dreams consisted of just this And in the dream, you know, I like my hands were were starting to get bloody from all the cards. I had paper cuts. Uh, Devin, the last autograph was Damon Stoudemire for the Blazers. No worries, Devin. I got you. Oh, you got the Blazers. No wonder you was asking. Yeah, I figured I figured that was the case. All right, umpire to hire. I just saw your message or, or whatever. And I will take care of you when I get the chance, my man. Um, Sports Cards Freak, I would say the best autograph so far is Dirk Nowitzki. Hi, what up, Kyle? How you doing, man? How's your? Uh, are you still up there in in Seattle or or what? What what was it? You out there with the wifey, getting a little vacation on? How was your weekend, man? I hope you had a good one. I was telling the fellas earlier, uh, I didn't do anything this weekend. I stayed home all day and did nothing. But play video games and like watch movies. Oh, back home in Portland, very nice. I hope you had a good time. I'm glad you got home safe. You watching some football tonight or what? Jamal Charles, I need a big game from you, bro. Well, listen, Devin, he's 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 a uh, he's veteran, like he's old school, old school right here. I agree, Kyle Smith. Uh, however, I would like to think that you know spending a weekend in a brothel would probably be a better. A better way to go. Unfortunately, we don't have brothels here. I think, I mean, actually, I lied. I think we do have brothels, but they're just not legal. So I'll wait for that time where I end up in Vegas and I like, I end up at the Bunny Ranch. And I'll spend, you know, my weekend that way. Oh, uh, no, I'll jokes aside, though, I had a blast. I had a blast all to myself. You know, sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need to just be dolo. Random.org is a great dating site. You're correct there, though, Sports Cars Freak. All of Miami is a brothel. You're, you're correct. 
So it's Tinder, but you know what, though? I don't have the patience you have, Jason. Like, I'm not going to make three, four Tinder accounts and just play the numbers game. You know what? I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that, and I don't want to put that much effort into it. Especially when I have, like, a little something on the side. I just don't want to be a complete whore. You know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of classy in that sense. Tomas Satoransky for the Wizards. 10 out of 10. That's pretty sweet. Sports cards freak, you're the f you're the f you're the farthest thing from classy. Exactly, Arthur. I'm trying to get in, get out. I don't want to cuddle. I don't want to pillow talk. I just want to smash and dash. You know what I'm saying? I want to do the the good old good old. Sports cards freak, stop lying. They don't call you the freak for nothing. Now you want to be all bashful and whatnot? Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm just super hyped that I actually pulled Alonzo Ball out of this so we know it exists. Rip and flip, dip and bounce. That didn't even rhyme. The rip and flip part did, though. Tyler Dorsey of the Hawks with the auto. You know, it's super important that you rhyme. By the way, I'm about to nerd out real quick. Thor Ragnarok comes out on Friday! That should be a good movie. What about you guys? Enough about me. What did you guys do for the weekend? Well, Simpson, I'm, I am trying, my man. I am trying. Well, listen, Rage, that's... Well, it depends. Did you hit? Because if you hit, that's always a good investment. You know what I'm saying? For the Kings, Buddy healed with an autograph. That's a nice auto right there. Am I ready for the girl costumes? Well, considering, what is it, tomorrow's Halloween? And where the fuck do you, th where, where the fuck do you guys think I'm going to be? I'm going to be sitting my ass on this chair, breaking for y'all. So, there will be no Halloween for your boy. Which, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm kind of, like, indifferent about it. Like, yeah, sure, it'd be cool to, like, go out and drink with my friends and, you know, whatever, whatever. But I want, I want candy, man. I want a trick-or-treat, man. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm always down for the basic bitches, though. Basic bitches that dress like whores because, you know, it's Halloween. I'm always a fan of that. Go ahead, girls. Show your true colors. Listen, Sports Cards Freak, if you do that, I just might fuck around and give you, like, break credit forever, dog. <laughs> that is hilarious. If you dress up, if you dress her up like a peanut m and um, I might just take a bite out of her ass, boy. Who do I got Monday night game? I got the Chiefs, bruh. I got the Chiefs, but I would like a big night from Jamal Charles because he's on my fantasy team. This is true, Arthur. This is a fact. I mean, damn. Now that I'm thinking about it, I already know what's going to happen. There's going to be a massive party over in the Gables. I forget what they call that shit over there. But, um... I mean, I'm not missing out on much. I'm not, I'm really not. I mean, yeah, it's a good time, whatever, whatever. But you know what? Un Uncle Jesse got to pay off student loans, so Uncle Jesse got to work. Now, if Halloween was on a Saturday, forget about it. Forget about it. I'm also not excited to work on my birthday. My birthday is in like a few weeks. I'm not happy about that. But hey, 
it is what it is. I'm getting old. That's part of uh, growing up, right? If I leave the door open, then anybody could just walk up in here. I mean, who knows? I mean, I do have a strip club, like, right across the street, bare necessities. I could just walk up in there. Or if my boy Eric comes through the room, I'm just going to be like, yo, Eric, can I slide through Tootsie's tonight, dog? And Eric, Eric is my boy. Eric is just going to be like, yeah, man, come through. And I'm going to be like, yo, Eric, can I get a voucher for, like, <laughs> for, like, two of your finest ladies? And Eric going to be like, yeah. Because that's my dog. Uh, you know, sports cards freak, I don't want that. I would much rather you buy into breaks. That way I can give you cards. And, you know, and in exchange, you know, I get some of those profits. Listen, I'll say this much, Arthur. I've only been to a strip club uh, three times in my life. And each time I was there, I think I probably spent a total of like $30 max each time. You got to know how to pace yourself, man. You got to know how to pace yourself. And, uh, and yeah. And it, and it helps when you go with a group of friends, especially when a good portion of them are girls. Because then the strippers will just come by and talk to the girls. And if the girls are hanging out with you, strippers are going to be like, oh, damn, these are cool dudes. They just came in here with some girls. Let me hang out with this group. And I ain't even going to bother. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not even going to hassle them for some money. Because they're going to get it regardless. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make it rain out there with 27 hoops base. What? Girl's going to love that. Girl, I got this TJ Warren base card. What you going to do for it? She's going to be like, everything, boy. I'm, I'm going to have paper cuts out the wazoo out there. Thought it might have been Dennis. Wesley E. Woundu, though, for the magic. Autograph right there. Well, that is true, Arthur. I mean, listen, I don't know how they do it in your guys' strip clubs, but down here in Florida, at least in, well, I'm pretty sure it's all of Florida, but in Miami, strip clubs in Miami are lit. Like, we can touch. Like, what? I be touching boobies. I be touching butt. I be doing all kinds of stuff. And my friends take it up a notch. Like, they'll they'll bite a girl's butt. Like, I ain't going to do all that. Like, I'm not putting my mouth on anywhere near your body parts. I don't know where you been, girl. Check Diallo. Know where he's been. Pelicans. Three out of ten. That's a nice one. Exactly, Rage. Exactly. You hit them with the base cards. They don't know what to do. Like, oh, you got these Aaron Judge base cards? Oh, my God. You got the Shaquille O'Neal Miami Heat inserts from NBA Hoops. Oh, my God. Don't know how to react. Another Mavs. J.J. Barea. Mavericks having a good break. I have yet to see Dennis Smith Jr., though. I want to see that. You can't touch anything, Arthur? Oh, damn. That's that's That sucks, dude. Now, here, the girls want you to touch them. Like, they'll go all up on you. Like, dude, I remember this one. And you can play tricks with them, too. Like, I'll put, I'll put like, the dollar bill on my nose or something. And then, like, a chick will come through. And you know what I'm saying? And then she'll, like, ah, I don't want to go into details because it's <sighs> good times, good times. But, yeah, point is, you could touch down here. You could touch. Like, you can touch, but, like, don't grab or, like, you know what I mean? Like, don't get rough with them. Unless you're in the champagne room. Then you can do whatever you want. Dude, I met this one girl at a strip club a while ago who a friend of mine went to high school with her. And now she's a stripper slash porn star living the life. No sex in the champagne room. That is, uh, that's what uh, Chris Rock would want you to believe, rah rah. Uh, but I can, uh, I can tell you, it goes down in the champagne room. It goes down in the champagne room. 
I think that's it for that box. That's it. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Well, swinging athletics, by the way, what it do? Uh, can you touch him, though, is my question. Because my boy Arthur's telling me he can't touch him where he's at. You got to fight bouncers and whatnot. Not, 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 not the case in Florida. What's up? Uh, damn, that's a hell of a screen name. I'm not even going to bother to repeat that. I'm just going to call you XA. Um, these, this is an eBay break, my man. We're doing uh, Hoops Half number three for eBay right now. I am on box number, what is this, box number seven? An orange kiwi. Dude, you just, you blew my mind just now. You blew my mind just now. Uh, Edward, no. High Tech did not come in today, man. I'm sorry. Oh, well, listen. Vegas is a whole nother strip. Is, that's a whole nother ball game when we're talking about Vegas. No worries, Edward. I'm sorry about that, man. Hopefully, it'll come in tomorrow. Uh, I was telling earlier a guy who asked me about it. Uh, when I do get the case, I will email everyone in the break. Uh, letting them know when it will when it will go down. See, I've never been to Vegas, so when I do, uh, I'm liable to catch something. So I'm hoping you know Donald Trump will hook me up with the cure. Anything good in this box? I mean, I don't know. I've I've never I haven't sorted through the rest of this box like I literally just started opening it Trevor uh, but as far as the case is concerned Dirk Nowitzki uh, Frank Mason the third Buddy Heald uh, did I say Reggie Miller already and, and Dirk Nowitzki so it's been it's been it's been okay but let's see what the rest of it's in here that's what I'm trying to get to Ra uh, Arthur I'm trying to be, you know, I'm trying to be fluid deficient. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure you guys, you know, you guys, for the most part, no disrespect, are a lot older than me. I'm 27. And I've, you know, I've gone through my fair share of shit. I can only imagine some of you dudes. Uh, but you know, and, and every guy has felt this, I feel like this is, a, this is just a thing. Like, after, you know how, like, after so much of, you know, busting nuts... Like, after a while, it just hurts. Like that, Arthur? Because that's a good deal, if that's the case. That's a good pain to have. That's a good pain to have. When all you're doing is you're just shooting blanks. It's painful. Oh, Arthur, you're 34. Well, yeah, I'm 27 going on 28. I hope I can make it. Oh, look, Ra Ra, you are just a sweetheart, bro. You're just a sweetheart, Ra Ra. No ugly chicks, though. Home cook meal and baseball cards. You know, that's it's. A lot of you guys have already gone through your craziness. Like, I'm, I'm still not there. Like, I feel like once I hit my 30s, that's when I'm going to start. It's going to be like a major upswing in the poontang. Dust in the wind. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Brandon Ingram to 25 for the Lakers. That's actually pretty sweet right there. Oh, so listen, a lot of you guys are in the prime of your lives then. Crazies looking for husbands, that's what you're after, Ra Ra. Listen, you're the one that told me not to get married, so watch yourself. I just want to have fun. I just want to have fun. That's it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Arthur. Like I feel like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be crushing it once I get to my thirties.
Especially, like, let these breaks take off in, like, the next couple years, and your boy is getting good money. Oh, boy. I'm not going to know how to act. Josh Hart of the Lakers, he knows how to act. That's a pretty good auto right there. Oh, Arthur, there's, you know, there's no shame in that, man. As long as you take care of your kids, that's that's the most important thing, my man. Really, Rage, huh? You know, I will say this. You know, recently I was talking to this chick that's, like, younger than me. I'm 27, and she is 21, 22. And the conversation is, like, it's not the same conversations that I would be having with somebody my age. Because everything I say to her is like, oh, my God, that's so cool. Oh, my God, you're super smart. Oh, my God. And it's like, oh, my God, shut the fuck up. Like, they're, for lack of better words, stupid. Like, everything is amazing to them. Everything is hilarious. Yeah, Rara, you, you put it, you said it right. Do I like Kevin Hart? He's a I. I wouldn't call him like my favorite comedian, but he's he's funny. He has his moments. For the Warriors, Damian Jones having his moment. Autograph right there. Uh, what up, Ryan? Right now, I'm breaking NBA Hoops half case number three for eBay. But if you head on over to our website, you can see what other breaks we have, my dude. Not to mention, if you've never made a purchase on our website, you can register for an account and we'll email you a code <sighs> where you will save $15 on your first purchase. Yeah, that is true, Rara. You're definitely the creep dude out there, but if, if, you, if you know what I'm saying, if you just... They don't care about that, dude. Like, they really don't. And Rara, you have a pretty good personality, bro. So all you got to do is, you know what I'm saying, do like you do here in this room, hit her with the swag, and, you know, take the bench press up for, for, a, for a ride for 250, you know, hit that thing like 20 times, and boom. Arthur, that's what I'm trying to get to, bro. That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to the, uh, to the rare, if you know what I'm saying. To the cougars. Exactly, Rara. See, like, at least you have a house. At least you have a house. Like, me, like, I don't give a fuck. I have no shame. I still live with my mom. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I bring a girl over, automatically she's like, oh, whose house is this? And I'll be like, girl, it's my mama's house. And she starts laughing. And I'm like, you think I'm playing? You better shut up when you come in this house. You better not talk. And quite frankly, they, they just don't care. Nah, staying at home is is, is 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 it has its perks. Like I'm in the I'm in the in the phase of my life where I'm trying to stack my paper so I can make a power move in the future. You know what I mean? But uh, for now, that's the grind. You know, I kind of want to talk to, like, this older chick who follows me on Instagram. And the way I know her is um, she used to work at this at this pizza shop that I used to go to pretty frequently. I mean, I still go there. Not as frequently as I used to, but whatever. Point is, she used to work there. It's called Steve's Pizza. And she would, every time I went... And she was there, she would always hook me up with free shit. Like, she would hook me up with free beers. She'd hook me up with free pizza. You know, free free wings. Free, free pretty much whatever I want. If she was still working there, you know, she would hook me up for the free. Right? And, like, she, 
something about older ladies. I feel like once once women get to a certain age, they really just stop giving a fuck. Like she's in her, I think she's like forty two, but she, you know, she's she's Puerto Rican, so she doesn't look forty two. Um, you know, Hispanic people we age amazing. Uh, anyways, so she gives me free shit and whatever, and then she stopped working there. But like, I'll see her randomly. Because, you know, Miami's a sh pretty small place. So you're going to see somebody you know eventually if you go out enough. Uh, so recently, she's... You know how, like, girls are on the social media? They'll, 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 they'll... We call it thirst trapping. Like, she'll she'll take pictures of herself, like, cleavage out and blah -zy blah And she'll put, like, pictures out. And she's like, yeah, you know, if only I had a man or whatever the fuck. Like, she's pretty much just putting herself out there. Uh, and I was telling my boy... Because we both know her, like, mutually. And I was like, dude, I'm about to make this move, dog. I'm about to I'm about to send her a picture of a house in her DMs. And when she asks me, what is that? I'm going to be like, you know, I'm I'm, per I'm permanently setting up in your DMs, girl. This, you know, I'm, I'm living here now. That's corny as fuck. But she's into that shit. So I don't know. I kind of just want to be straight up and be like, just put it out there. Put it all on the table. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what I want to do. I mean, I'm not going to lose anything at all, regardless of what I do. I just want to do it like, I don't know, man. Stephen P, look at this man dropping knowledge for the Jazz. Donovan Mitchell with the knowledge. Well, Ra Ra, you know what? That's true. That is true. Older women don't play games. You know what, Rage and Ra Ra? I think you guys are my new best friends. I'm, I already know what I'm going to make my next move. Next time she posts something up provocative like, which is probably going to be tomorrow, she's going to post a picture up and she's going to be all like, you know, I ain't tricking for no treats or something stupid like that. And I'm going to slide up in her DMs and be like, girl, I got a treat for you. And she's going to be like, LOL, what's that? And I'm going to be like, this dude. And I don't know how she's going to respond to that. She'll probably just say like, LOL. I don't know. For the Mavericks, Jeff Withy with the autograph. Well, that's the thing. I'm not going to ask. Oh, dude, she has a daughter that's like my age. I lied. Her daughter's like 22, 23. But I don't care about her daughter. I just want to knock. I just want to get that thing off of the, uh, the good old bucket list, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Hook up with the older chick. I'm going to slot up in the DMs. Well, listen, if she works at Dunkin' Donuts and she's hooking you up with free hash browns, I'm going I'm to hook her up with some free uh, diggity D. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I didn't catch that earlier, dude. Like, I was telling a friend of mine the other day this. I was like, when it comes to other people, and like, I can see that shit for other people. You know what I mean? Like, yo, dude, that chick is clearly interested in you. Make a move, bro. He makes a move and whatever. Boom, they hook up. You know what I'm saying? But I can't see it for me. The thing is, Stephen P, like, I don't want to ask her out because then that's going to make it seem like, okay, I want to be with you. I don't. I just want to be in you. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if the daughter jumps in the bed, that would be the craziest thing ever. Ever. You know what? I've, I've convinced myself at this point. Next time I see a picture, I'm out there. But since she is an older woman, and, you know, she's she knows what she wants, I kind of just don't want to deal with the aftermath. You know, I don't want to deal with the, so what are we? You know what I'm saying? What do I have to lose? I have pizza to lose. 
CC5 cards, what up? Well, Stephen P, if that's a tranny, I'll probably punch her in the face. Um, anyways, that is true, Rage. You know what? I've, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Uh, as far as Archive Signature Series, I don't have anything. Well, I lied. I do have boxes of it. Um, CC5. I just don't have any of those posted on eBay. Seeing as how it's only one autograph per box. But I do have them. I do have Archive Signature Series Baseball. Uh, CC5 cards. Uh, so if you're interested in a box, let me know and I can hook you up with a price on that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's $60 for a box. You're going to get a, a guaranteed buyback auto. I believe it's 60 Um Last I checked on Friday, it was at 60 Uh Let me check my, my source right quick. Exactly, Stephen P. That's my whole thing. Like, I don't want to... You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to get into a relationship with, with that. No. I just want to hit, dog. That's it. I just want to hit. So, like, me being the person that I am, I start to, like, overthink the situation. So, I start to think, like, oh, damn. Okay, well, like, what if she catches feelings? And, like, what if she wants me to, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just think way too much. That's my problem. Right, rah, rah, right. That's, that's what I want to do. Like I'm straight up, I'm just gonna straight up slide in the DMs one day. I've, I, you guys have convinced me of it. That's it's one of these days. You guys are gonna hear a story from Uncle Jesse, like, and you guys, you guys are gonna either die laughing or die laughing. Like, there's no in between. I'm trying to find a price for this thing, but the internet's well, not really the internet, but the uh, website's not really helping me out. Yeah, archives is sixty bucks. Archive signature series sixty bucks. Uh, you get a buyback auto per box. Uh, buyback cards, I wouldn't say they lost value. Uh, they're pretty much just, you know, resale. Listen, at this point, I don't care. Because even her daughter, her daughter is smoking hot. Her daughter is smoking hot. But... I'm not interested in the daughter. I'm interested in the moms. Like, what does that make me? And then, like, in my crazy head, like, what if I smash the mom? And then while I'm in the house, looking all sexy and glistening and whatnot after the, after, you know what I'm saying, after the session, and I'm drinking some water trying to rehydrate myself, what if she walks into the, like, kitchen, and then, like, she's like, oh, damn, I want some of that nougat. And, like, I got to break her off. You know what I'm saying? Like a Kit Kat bar. I just like coming up with with like like <laughs> like scenarios that'll never happen. <laughs> right, rage. Listen, this is what I do. This is really what I do. I, I take scenarios and I just think of every possible outcome, even though they're like not possible. Pretty much, that's kind of what I'm doing right right now, Ra Ra. But trust me, I'm I'm not. I'm lucky if she lets me stay for water. She better give me some fucking water. I'm not about to dehydrate after I'm all up in them goods. CC5 cards. I'm just right now, we're like, we've been talking hella shit, as we always do. But it's like this one chick that, uh, well, I can't really call her a chick. This is a grown-ass woman. This is a grown-ass woman who, like, used to work at this pizza shop uh, I, I go to a lot. And she would hook me up with free food and whatnot. So I was telling the fellas about that little situation and pretty much free food i guess equals she wants the d but i didn't i didn't see that I, I just figured oh she's hooking me up with free food that's a champ but now i need to give her something for free i think you know what i'm saying 25 out of 25 og anunobi for the raptors that's actually a good card right there people sleeping on my boy that's a good card but anyways Archive Signature Baseball, $60 for a box. Do your research. There's some good stuff in there. Aaron Gordon, 6 out of 10 with a special delivery insert. That is nice. 6 out of 10, always good. So with the Signature Series Baseball, every card is hand-signed, numbered, and encased. 
Uh, each card will include a foil stamped archive signature logo as well. You know, there's all kinds of stuff in there. My boy said he hit a one on one Charlie Blackman in there. That's actually a very good card. One of the best hitters in the game right there. I got two boxes left of these, and then we don't have to do another break. Well, till nine o'clock, I think, for eBay. But it won't take me that long. CBJ went ahead and knocked these things down from a uh, from a full case over to a halfy. Like a full case of hoops takes two and a half hours to break. It's pretty ridiculous. That's it for that. Now, if you guys want a box of archives, let me know. Uh, it's not in the store, so uh, just let me let me know, and I'll hook you up with that. Uh, I'll tell you how to make payment and all that stuff. Gary Payton the second for the Bucks with an auto. Swinging Athletics wants two, uh, so you know what to do, right? Do you know how to make payment? Uh, it's not in the store, like I said. So all you need to do is uh, head on over to RipCityCards.com. It's going to be the first link. It'll say Rip This Business uh, Direct Payment. Uh, you click on that, and it's going to take you to a page where uh, there will be a box that says Quantity. Oh, I hear you, CC5. Yeah, the, like since it's only buybacks and stuff, and it's one card per box, we're doing it personal style. Uh, we're not going to be doing it like uh, like a full case break or anything like that, CC5. So, Swing Athletics, if you know how to make direct payment, then I'm just going to be quiet. This is the last box. All right, swinging athletics. I'll check on that. Uh, actually, right now. And I have, from what I can see, I have six, twelve. I have seventeen boxes. So what I'm gonna do for you, swinging athletics, is once I see that payment come on through, and once I'm done with this break. Uh, I'm just going to take all the boxes out and I'm going to have you pick them. Which, not to mention, uh, every purchase made on the website gets you thrown into our giveaway, giving away $200 in break credit. Uh, I did that already on Friday. Video posted up as well for that. And I will have to update the list. I'm not sure if CBJ was keeping track of it. Uh, I'll check on that in a second. Oh, nice swing in athletics. I'm, I was just about to ask you because I know you won. Uh, so I'm glad you got that code. Last box mojo here. I appreciate that swing in athletics. I appreciate that. From what I can tell, though, I do need to update the sheet as far as the promo is concerned. Um, I'm not sure where he left it at. Okay, I can kind of see where he left that. So I'll just go from there, and I'll update that once I'm done with this. And as I said, uh, Kyle, I'll go ahead and uh, hook you up with your boxes and let you pick from them, see what you want. All right, last box mojo. In there. 
inserts. We should be getting two autographs out of this box right here. Well, listen, that's that's just that's just what it is, uh, Kyle. You know, it's just this this one older lady who's been thirst trapping the hell out of my Instagram, and I kind of just want to throw it out there. You know what I'm saying? Kind of just want. I just. I, you know what? I'm gonna probably gonna do. I'm just gonna hit her with the with the what 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 emoji is that? I think it's like the. Uh, I think it's like a Sasquatch or something. Like it's some form of vegetable that resembles the uh, the phallic member of the male species. You know, without me having to get too X-rated. Ivan Rab with the Grizzlies with the autograph dope. The eggplant. There it is. What did I say? Sasquatch? What the fuck is a sa Isn't the Sasquatch like the fucking... <laughs> Isn't a Sasquatch like Bigfoot? <laughs> what was... I think I was... I was thinking about Squanch or something. I don't know what the hell I was thinking about. 49ers acquire Garoppolo for a second round pick. That is kind of a steal. Why couldn't the Dolphins make that move, man? See, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Dolphins just... <sighs> I would have taken Jimmy G. Jimmy G was nice. Is nice, I should say. Jimmy G's not bad. All right, better, better. All right, let me rephrase that. Jimmy G is better than any of the quarterbacks on the Dolphins roster. Including Ryan Tannehill, or maybe not. I'm, I'm going to give my boy some credit. But way better than Jake Cutler, that's for damn sure. And better than that freaking Matt Moore. The Tyler Ulis for the Suns is at 25. That's nice. Doss it for that. All right, let's finish this up. The final auto. Grizzlies had a break, man. Troy Daniels with the autograph for him. Nice. And what else we got here? The rest of this should be just straight up base. Put that away. And that is the break. All right. So put this away. And then I'm going to do the recap for y'all. That's it for the prison. Uh, Swing Athletics, I believe we donate it. If I'm not mistaken, we donate it. Or... I think uh, I think we probably sell it, but I think we donate it. All right, recap time. The special delivery of Aaron Gordon to ten. Jake Diallo for the Pelicans to ten. Tomas Satoransky of the Wizards to ten, and Derek Rose of the Cavs to ten. Cool parallels there, but we care about the autos. Here they are: Troy Daniels, Grizzlies. Ivan Rab, Grizzlies. Gary Payton, the second, Bucks. OG Anunobi, Raptors. Jeff Withy, Mavs. Donovan Mitchell, Jazz. Damian Jones, Warriors. Josh Hart, Lakers. JJ Barea, Mavs. Wesley Iwundu, Magic. Buddy Heald, Kings. Tyler Dorsey, Hawks. Damon Stoudemire, Blazers. Sterling Brown, Bucks. E.K. Anik Bogu, Pacers, Dirk Nowitzki, Mavs, Jawan Evans, Clippers, Reggie Miller, Pacers, Chris Middleton, Bucks, and Frank Mason, the third Kings. So we had three Mavericks, three Bucks, two Grizzlies. Uh, there, I think there were a few Pacers too. Uh, two Pacers. Yep, so two Pacers, two Grizzlies, three Bucks, three Mavs. And that was the break, y'all. That was the break. Put these away. In a partridge, in a pear tree. We're not quite there yet. Damn, Christmas is around the corner, yo. 
And uh, that was 2017-18 NBA Hoops Basketball 10 Box Half Case Break Number 3 eBay Style. Coming at you. Thank you very much, guys.